Hola everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'd be ranting about my RTX 4090. Um, as I was cleaning my computer earlier, uh, I had YouTube on playing on, you know, I selected a random tech tuber and play this video, right? And apparently a lot of users are observing cracks in their PCB or the PCB of the video card, right? Namely the RTX 4090 and 4080 since uh, they are very similar in weight. Uh, weight weight of the video card right uh, they're pretty heavy and the, the the thing that's causing the cracks are well the lack of use the lack of use of a gpu stand or bracket so, some brackets are alongside the pci slots right and supporting the video card like that but me personally i prefer stands and maybe uh, the, the people who are uh, seeing cracks in their PCB do doesn't use a GPU stand or bracket or an improper installation of it. So that could be a reason. And so in this video, I'd be checking the status of my card. I'd be removing it, checking the status of my video card. You know what? I'm pretty curious about the state of my 12 volt high power here. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's a picture of it. Let me take a picture. So there's the status of my 12 volt high power. Seems fine. No melting. That's no melting happening. Still pretty good in all sides. Yeah. So that's good. So now I'd be removing my the my video card and check the status of the PCB if it's cracking. Timestamp in the time bar below. Uh, feel free to skip ahead. Uh, description of the timestamps will be in the description field as well. Feel free to fast forward. So in this video, I'd be removing my card, check the status of my uh, PCB, and second is installing the card back and proper installation of my GPU stand on how to install it properly, right? So let me remove my video card here real quick. Oh, and by the way, if you're going to be removing your video card, don't remove the stand first remove the power cable don't do not remove the stand first at the very least the the card will still be supported by this one here as you remove the screws right so it may seem a bit too straightforward yeah but some people may miss it so it's worth mentioning oh you know what the 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 video card is really heavy on this side so i there you go there you go so i i, I just moved my gpu stand here to, to to support the video card better because it's weighing the pci slot down and i do not I really don't want to put stress onto the PCI slot, PCIe slot, um, even though the motherboard says it's highly durable, uh, don't want to risk it, you know? Um, so that's removed, then push the lock button down to unlock it, there you go, and remove the stand, yeah? Alrighty. Moment of truth, everyone. Yeah. So my PCB is fine. If you'd want to take a look at it. Can you guys see? Let me just take a picture of it. It will be easier. Wow. This card is heavy, guys. Uh, I believe I weighed it. Uh, I, I think this is 2 kilograms or something. Anyway, it's really heavy. There's the status of the PCB of my video card. So everything seemed fine. And let me just check the general status of my card. This thing is heavy. 
All righty. Looks good to me. So everything seems fine. The already now. I've already cleaned. Uh, actually, I've already finished cleaning the PC, but not this card. Uh, I I tried not, not to remove the card earlier. Uh, I I want to make a video out of it first. So let me just blow this thing real quick. And oh my goodness, there you go. Uh, I'm using a blower to blow dust out. Right. Be careful when you use this thing. You might damage the fans. So uh, a good idea is to hold the, the, the fan like this so it won't spin as you blow air into it, right? So yeah, let me just clean this real quick. Yeah, so in this part of the video, I'd be installing this thing here. This part is helpful for those who just bought their RDX 4080, 4090, right? So to install it, uh, have your GPU stand ready and just place it on the side there. And you know what? It'll actually be better, especially if it's your first time, to install your video card with the case laying down. Um, my opinion, but if you prefer with a case standing up, no problem there as well and just put the thing in like so like that and push until it clicks locks into place right there you go hope you heard that and then don't don't leave it hanging Again, if I if I remove my finger here, all of the weight will be stressing the PCB and the PCI slot as well, right? And we don't want that to happen, guys. And put the brack stand here. Align, make sure the screw holes are aligned like that. Alrighty. Okay, so it's being held in place by the GPU stand, right? And screw it in place. One thing that I'm doing is, you, you know the screws? You know the screws for the, for the GPU? For the video card, right? Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Uh, I'm placing a washer in between, a plastic washer. I hope you know what that is uh, a plastic washer yeah like that yeah so the reason I'm doing this is I don't want to scratch the the plating of the PCI uh, holder of the video card so you know just to avoid rusting because if the plating is scratched off it'll start it'll tend to lead to corrosion you know so to, to avoid that, I place plastic washers in there. Yeah. So anyway, that's just me. Now the, the video card is screwed in place. Now I will install my uh, GPU stand better, making sure that the GPU or the video card is straight. What you guys don't... What you guys don't want to happen here is you overlifting the card because if I let go of my finger here, if you guys could see there, let me zoom it in. There, right? Uh, if I let go of my finger here, all of the weight is being supported. Well, not really all. Most of the weight is putting stress onto the circuit board, the PCI slot, right? And we don't want that to happen. So what you want to do is you lift the card up before installing the GPU stand, right? But you, what you don't want to happen is you overlifting this thing because if you overlift it, you're causing stress on the other side, uh, you know, causing the same problem, right? And we don't want to have, we don't want that to happen. So again, 
make sure it's properly aligned make sure the 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 guard is not sagging down and you're not you're not over lifting the card as well all right and then me what i do is i use like use the reference line somewhere in your case right me what i'm using right now is the m.2 heat spreader there up top and i'm just eyeballing it i guess this is pretty straight enough it's a bit more yeah a bit more yep this will do it there and oops a bit more yep so that's that and lock it in place there you go oh it's a bit too much <laughs> so i overlifted the thing and again we don't want that to happen there you go there you go and uh let me take a picture of this and show it to you guys there and here's a reference line so that's how you install the car there and lastly you install the power cable and make sure it's all the way in the the new cable clicks into place opposed to the v1 the first version of this one anyway i have the c sonic so I, your your mileage may vary there and just make sure it's all the way in right to, to avoid the melting <laughs> problem with this car there and anyway so let me zoom back out So there you have it guys uh i really hope you guys find this video helpful because in the youtube i saw uh he did say what may cause the cracking so in this video uh it's more like of uh, how to prevent that from happening more, sort of a tutorial something like that um it, it's kind of all over the place uh this is kind of impromptu <laughs> uh i just decided to make this video out of you know as i was cleaning my computer so apologies there and again, uh, I really hope you guys like this video. As always, see you in the next one.